Who's in Kumail, dear? Welcome to a circuit where to win you have to have unimaginable skill, pinpoint accuracy, but most importantly of all, a massive set of balls. Welcome to SDB Season 11 Round 6, the Monaco Grand Prix. Sadly, Tiasaku is not here today, he has commitments in other leagues, so we wish him all the best of luck in his race. Joining me instead is Tia Malta. Say hello. Hello, I'm Tia Malta, or Callum, and I'll be joining Jack for this uh, race, hopefully. Yeah. Yep. We're on board with we're on board the Red Bull, is this? Mr. Did. Well, I'm on. No, it's Mr. Did, he's coming out. I'm on board the ECR Shadow, who's coming down to the hairpin, just when it's out there. So, um, yeah. Jack, what do you think would be a good time round here for the SDB guys here? Mm. I don't really know what a good time round Monaco is. Um, I don't know, 14, oh. 15, something e like that? 11, 9? Yeah, sh Shadow might be having some connection issues because he was lagging all over the screen, which wasn't fun. Right, I'm just going to check who's the first to come out. I'm just looking right now. Oh, that's a bit wide at the swimming pool. Yep. And the first to come over the line will be Photos Greek GTA, I think. Yep, he's the first one to come over the line. So um, he's cut. You've gone through turn one. Hit the wall there a little bit. Coming up to uh, cost the casino people. section now. And yep. Verona's gone already. He's... Oh, that's not good. Invite him back. Uh, but he's gone through the car selection there. Done very well. I'm just going to go and get his sector one time up. Massive Hopefully lock it's up good, running, but coming into mm. Lil's happen. Yep. Massive lock up again. Yep. That is a. Uh, but he's made it round well. Hopefully going down to here. This right hander. Yep. He's taken that very well, and he's going through the tunnel section right now. Coming down to the hill. Oh, he hits the wall there a little bit. That, lucky he ain't got any damage, but he's going to come down to here, massive lock up but he's made the corner, I think that might just be a glitch because he wouldn't have locked, he wouldn't have made the corner, come through to the back, again he's taken that quite well to break a little bit but he's through to the simple section, he's taken this very well actually, this could be a good lap, oh he's spun it a little bit nearly, yeah, kick and through Raskas, and up to the final corner, round he goes and let's see what his time will be. Hopefully it will be yeah. good. I'm trying to get the telemetry right now. And a 113.0, which is good banker lap actually. Very oh, good. Shadow. Very good banker. Shadow was in a wall, but it was right. lap. Yeah. ECR Shadow goes with a 113.6. Oh, no. He's on a bit of a connection issue right now. Oh, I've uh, been seeing he's been oh, lagging yeah. considerably. I think we've had a return. Has there been connection issues? I, think there's there's a been a, a I don't think there has been. Uh, looking around, but uh, Gabriel's gone second with a 1.13.2 and Eric Stander has gone four tenths quicker than Fotis and he's gone for a 1.12.4 Speaking well, of that, Tommy's just gone Tommy. two tenths quicker 12.4 even, go what on a lab. Well done mate Doing five proud there with a 1.12.4 Oh, okay, and then Toxic Fusion comes through with a 1.12.1 Toxic Fusion, oh, you can see the big boys are coming out to play now Toxic Fusion, yeah, of course, uh, defending was... champion Oh, and did goes the first one into the 111 to the 111.998. They're just in there. Does and it's Tommy a very, use very the good uh, first lap. Uh, I think no. Tommy uses a pad, so he's probably oh, at a disadvantage here. Oh, Fotis has gone third, so he's done very well there. Fotis has gone for a 112.2. Um, I'm looking if anyone else is having the lap. Evan oh. Z is coming through. Yeah. Oh, he's made contact with ECR yeah, Shadow. Shadow hit to go to the pits. And Evans has lost part of his winger, he's going to come over to the line to set a 1-12-7. He must be annoyed there, because Shadow's blocked his lap. Oh, and BRL, Jalzinho, has gone 1-11-6 for the first lap. And then Eric has gone for a 1-11-1. The time's been flying in here, everyone's doing fast lap, the fastest lap. It would be expected from, uh, you know, the kind of shortness of Monaco. So Jack, what do you think, think so far about the... Um, about the pace of the top three, I'd say. Personally, I think the only to calm down a little bit, you know, chill out. It's it's only qualifying. I know it's important on Monaco, obviously, but you don't want to bin it. 
and with people pushing that hard, I think they might. Of course, Eric is known for his uh, consistency, I agree with you there. but you know, around Monaco, anybody can make a mistake. It doesn't matter how good you are. It only takes one yeah, little of steering during the harbour. Dead. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, Eric Stander there for one eleven one. That is an incredibly good time. Is I feel like retiring? That's going to no, be hard to do. Who is? Sorry. Evans, he is going slow, but I think he's just getting out of people's way. Yeah, he's he's uh well uh, somehow he's willing to come back, but um, last time I saw him, I know he's lost a little bit of his front wing, but he's coming to the pits now, and he must be annoyed because he he was on the good lap there. Um, on this telemetry, it was a few attempts up, unfortunately, at that incident with ECR Shadow. Hopefully, you know, that didn't culminate in, uh, you know, him being angry. He can keep calm and focused, really. Okay, from killer on the line. Right, uh, yep, Typhoon. Yep, so let's just go on board with him. He is... Is that an... Oh, ooh, He's almost lost the oh, last corner. Nah. I don't know if he's on a lap. He saved that, but now he's starting a lap now. Ah, I'll take it through. Um, he's got turn one. That's a nice turn one there. Very good for him. Now it's important to get a good run through the, can the casino square. Is he going to get a good run through here? Yes, he has. Oh, he's gone a little bit deep there, and that's comprised his run. But now coming down to um, sector one. Oh, there's a uh, sector two yellows. But keeping on board with Typhoon, he's um, gone through the happy. He's not locking up. As speaking of that, he has locked up a little bit, but. He's a, he's, it's a nice solid lap here. Let's see, he's going through in second gear. Now it's important to have a good run, obviously, through the tunnel section here. And he takes it well. Now important to go down to the new one's chicane, not to lock up as much. And he's done very well there. Nice smooth run. Almost hit the barrier there, but he's going through to that now. It's still in fifth. See what he can do through the swimming pool. That's nice as well, going into fourth gear. And oh, we almost lose that other uh, swimming pool section, and he's gone wide to that, uh, no, Raskas, sorry. And that might have compromised his run. Hopefully, he can go in for another lap. Let's see what he does up to the line here. And it is a 1-12-3. That, oh, that Raskas must, yeah, that must have killed him, because that, uh, it looks like a very good lap for him. And it's just a. Uh, who, who else is on the lap? Mr. Did is coming up to do a lap. Anyone else on the lap? Well, just started one. I think everyone's just... I just mm -hmm. hit the wall. Let's... Uh, let, let's... Let, wait, Moldy has. Yes. Uh, let's go yeah. stay on board with good old SCB Moldy. I think he may... Yeah, I think he may be just be like, backing off now. Because he's definitely gone wide through there. 19.7 first sector is not very good. I think, yeah, this is more of a just... Get a lap on the board and then try it around next time. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go on board with who else is um, who else is on the lap. I think everyone else is on the lap right now. Jalzinho is coming out to do a lap. Oh, Eddie Prondi has joined now, so I hope. I don't know if he'll have enough time to get um, back. He, uh, do you think he'll have enough time to um, get a lap in? He should have enough time to do an out lap and then finish a lap, yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, look through again. We've got Biro, Chalzinho. Oh, he's nearly hit the wall there, but let's see what he does for his. Uh, he's gone up. He's up by four thousandths of a second. Wow, he's having a very, very. Uh, I don't know if it's maybe lag, but he's very all over the place at the moment. Yeah, he's. he's it seems like he's struggling, but I don't know if this is a lag. But uh, um, he's going through the tunnel section I right now. I think it's actually. Mm, yeah, I mean, he is, he is on the other side of the world, so I think it might be a lag on my point of view, but let's see what he does going up to the second set to split. Oh, he's, he's gone a bit wide there. Oh, oh he's, he's down oh. and he's hit his wall. He's hit the wall. That's not good. I, don't, I think that might be his qualifying over. That definitely I'm looking is. right now. Yeah, no, that definitely is his qualifying <laughs> over. Uh, okay. Anyone else? Uh, Matty Matty Banter's coming through the Nouvelle Chicane. Yeah, Toxic it, have not. Well, in the middle of everything, he's gone second. Well done, over 1-11-3, which is a very good lap, actually. Uh, a, tenth off, a tenth and a half off Eric, but, you know, Eric has shown that he, he is the man to beat here. 
He's coming out of the pits now to start a lap. I think he, he's going to have enough time to get round. One minute 30 left, so that's easily enough time to get round Monaco. But yeah, Evansy uh, Evans has gone um, third. Yeah. And Evans has gone third to a 113. The and SCB. Oh, 113, sorry. And uh, yeah, Verstappen's gone to a 111.2, which is a, a good lap nonetheless. That is very, very good. He's put out a P2. Oh, Fosus has retired along with Maldi. So they're, they're qualifying over. Maldi will put on a poor. Uh, well, I think he's lost a bit of his front wing, but a poor 12th for him. Uh, who else is on a lap right now? Um, Toxic's going for one. I think last most. Lap. Toxic Fusion, yeah, he's, he has now. He's got through. Let's see. Uh, fuel wise, has he got any. Um, uh, yeah, he's only got he's only got uh, 0 0.65 left. I don't think he's going to make it around this circuit. He might, but you never know. I'm just going to stay on board with him, see if he does. Well, Rich isn't uh, any of that important. Is we could stick it in green and then try and do it a lot. Yeah, he's on 4.7 right now, so he could get round, but I just don't close. know. I'm doubting it really. He's down to he's down to 0 0.3. I don't think he's going to get round. No, this is a very bold not. effort by Toxic. Definitely very well, Dex. Oh, and Jazzino is uh, retired. Or, uh, didn't think he could get around for another lap, unfortunately. And uh, Toxic. Is he going to get around? That's a question. He's going to lean. Oh, he's. No. Oh, and he's no. running out of fuel. Unlucky for him. Unlucky. Right near the end. Uh, anyone else still on the lap? Um, Evans here. Yeah, Evans is on the lap. Gabriel is on the lap as well. Um. Oh, he's almost hit the wall there. He's coming through the fast cast now. Uh, a bit of a wide, uh, bit of a wide exit. And is he gonna? He's coming around now. One ten, one eleven. He's not. He's. He's. I think he might have invited a lap. He's in a one twelve four, which would have put him P P ten provisional. But he invited a lap. Uh, Tommy, I think he's coming on for his. Uh, he's coming through the last corner. What is he going to do here? And he's got to P7 for 111.9. A good time there for Tommy. Considering he is, I think he's no, using the pad. No, Evans is running out of fuel. Last corner. Oh dear. Was he on a? Was he? I th was he like he was, on he was for on a, a good time? Lap, he was on to improve. Oh. Oh, Eddie Perondi has left again. No, oh, this guy can't catch through any brake, can he? No. He's Disconnects have basically cost him the championship lead over the last two or three mm. races. Well, that is a, a, a real shame for him, and I don't know if he'll be able to get back in. Hopefully, he'll be able to get back in um, before the start of the race, because it would be a real shame to see this uh, lag slash um, connection ruining someone's race. As uh, we just go through the um, standing, so Eric is top with um, Verstappen second, Toxic third, Evans E is fourth. And I don't know if there's anyone else to um, come in uh, as Eddie has joined thankfully. Right, that is the end of qualifying. That was very, that was very interesting. What do you think, Jack? Personally, I think it's going to be quite a boring race if Eric can keep it at the barriers. He's taking his first pull of the mm. season. And we're still not yeah. uh, in the uh, race, so I think he's going to dominate, to be honest. Alright, so the standings are Eric uh, first, SV Mal uh, STB Verstappen second, Toxic third, Evansy fourth, uh, Jauzinho fifth, Matty Banta um, sixth, Tommy seventh, Did eighth, Fotis ninth, Typhoon tenth, Pure, Mal uh, Pure Maldi, Gabriel, Dennis and ECR Shadow all uh, miss out on the top ten. So they'll have a... They'll have a different choice of tyre, which is good for them. Obviously, that could alternate strategies could work around here. Whether there'll be rain in the race, I didn't check or I didn't. I don't think we saw what it was in the race. Copyright? No. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't forget about that. Oh no, Edu's left again. Oh, this guy, oh his connection. So we actually oh, don't know what the weather's going to be like for this race. It could absolutely be. Yeah, is, is there a formation lap on? Is no. there a formation lap on? Okay, so. Yeah, 
no time just to see how the track is going. They're going to have to go straight into it, which is, uh, you know, tough sometimes. But as we are counting down to the start of the race, everyone is readying up. So, one, two, three, four, five lights, and away we go for the Monaco Grand Prix. Eric has a decent start. He's uh, kept Ma um, Verstappen behind him. Verstappen's hit the back of him almost. He's kept it up there. He's going to come up to Casino Square. He's done very well there. But there's contact behind. There's always a lot of desyncing behind Shadow being one of the victims. There's um, Fosis that's made his made way up to sixth. Typh Typhon Killer has as well. Jazzino's lost out here. He's got half a front wing, unfortunately for him. Manny Bant has got no front wing. Did has got half. A lot of contact here, Jack. This oh, is, this is a, the what we expected. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Get Car Isha Park Shadow at was... Wow. Isha Shadow for a minute was in the... Was, did, did a, a, ver, a ver line. I think he's disconnected massively. He's, he's not... It, it's not very good for him. But, um, yeah, Eric... The top three, top four, stay the same as uh, they're all coming through the swimming pool section now. Eric only got a half a second lead to Verstappen, who has kept with him, which is uh, good. Ozzy wants to DRS when it comes around on lap three. Anything down the field, uh, Tommy has um, stayed in P7. Maribanta, I think Maribanta did, and Jalzino all have to go into the pits, which is unfortunate. So does Pure. Uh, Maldi has to as well. There's a how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people in the pits. Wow. There's a lot of that that is a lot of contact, that is definitely. Wow. So I'm just gonna look who's um position chain. So East Yard Shadow is up seven positions at the moment. Um Typhon Killer and Fotis are both up uh, four positions in right running quite well in fifth and sixth. There's a, almost a train going on now uh, behind um, Eric. I uh, also expected as Monaco is very tight track, very, you know, not much room for error. So if he did uh, crash, then he's going to feel it. And Tommy has a three second time penalty already. I don't know how he's uh, had that already, but he must be uh, pushing his car to the limit, don't you think? Either that or he's being more cutie boy. <laughs> yep, as that Gabriel also does get one, and he's all oh, Gabriel's hit the wing and lost a bit of his front end plate, which is not going to be good, especially around here where uh, it will cost you the most. But uh, I think Isha Shadow is having a lot of connection issues right now, which could be, prove to be bad if he does get in a, in a battle with someone. As obviously, this game with lag is not a very good combination. Uh, look at that. Maldi has uh, been. Well, I think a lot of the big losers have been Jalzinho, Ma Matti, and Maldi, who have all gone down in a lot of positions. And Mr. Did is in the pits again. I think he's lost another bit of front wing, or they didn't change it, which is uh, frustrating for him, as I think he was a. Uh, yeah, I he didn't was think that I didn't fall away from his pits the first time. I saw a damaged wing, but I thought that might have just been a glitch. Hmm. Yeah, clearly not. As uh, his, they've, um, he, he's now down in the last position. Hopefully, he can take these super softs, uh, you know, a long way. I know you can in on this track, but um, yeah, I think it was that Fotis Greek GTA has now got a three second time penalty, which uh, will prop, which might cost him. But uh, look, looking ahead, Toxic Fusion is now holding up a train of how many cars about. Seven, uh, about from third to seventh, for in a uh, in a bit of a battle here now, evenly spread out. Um, Verstappen and uh, Eric are pulling away. I think Eric more than uh, Verstappen is. What, a gap of 1.6 is that? Yeah, that is. We did oh, see and, this uh, in Russia. Toxic have been quite slow in the early stages of the race. He did get quicker towards the end though, so we'll see how the race develops. Verstappen has got some uh, front end plate damage. Um, he's just hit the wall going through Casino. This may, this could prove a pretty um, bad thing for him if if, if he's going to lose out because he's lost a second already to Eric. I think Eric's 
showing his he, he's he's looking he's meaning business this race. Obviously, he is the championship leader, and you know he's he's making a statement here by already by lap four being two point seven two point six seconds up, and well, it, oh, Greek and Foles have come to blows up the uh, no Vulture Kane. All uh, and yeah, Greek has got no front wing. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, and he's he's bottled it to to, to back. You've got um, Typhoon has got. Oh, he's got a three-second time penalty on to add on to his woes of having half a front wing. Yeah, those two were running really well in fifth and sixth. Now uh, Typhoon's carrying on. I think he, can, he thinks he can probably take his front wing damage on, but unfortunately for Greek, that is uh, um, that is quite bad. Uh, what happened? Did you um, were you on board? I just them? caught the end of it. It looks like one of them went from moved down to the side and then ended up spilling each other. Mm. Especially at the Nubus Chicane, which is you know one of the highest places to overtake and leave room. So yeah, that was all. That's probably always going to happen. But uh, yeah, the uh, first group TK is probably going to come out in. Yeah, he's going to have in P10. So it's he's still in the points, which is a good thing. He's uh, got, but he's also got Total Pure and Matty Mayo Banter. But Total Pure has hit the barriers, and that's given Matty Mayo Banter a room off his inside. But I think yeah, he's letting through because he's always got it very wing damage now and doesn't want to, you know go for uh, cause any more collision than he's already got but going up let's look at the big win let's again look at the big winners after this early stage so obviously um eric who's actually had this gap from um 2.6 go down by two tenths so for Stappen, even with this wing damage the small slight wing damage is not feeling it he's uh keeping the gap to them oh uh fusion is pit fusion yeah. is pit uh he's got he's got half a front wing and Tommy was right behind both Evans and Toxic when Toxic pit. So Tommy is challenging him for third place here. For the full foot yeah, he is because um, Evans has got half front wing as well. Tommy, after, after starting P7, is in contention for a very good podium here. I think Evans is going to he's going to struggle a lot to. Um, he's looking look at that. He's locking up. He's going to struggle a lot on that front wing as uh, uh, Questas. 2000, I don't know, but he got a penalty. So we'll have to just respect eight, which is unfortunate. As we've got a uh, another person joining, Big Reese, which is uh, interesting. Uh, was that was that total pure? Has now got a um, a penalty. He's I think he's feeling the front wing damage here. Oh, uh, Greek has retired. I think he may have um, chipped his front wing again. Yeah, he's chipped his front wing. Has had enough. Oh, he's, he's he's gone. He's angry. I mean, to be honest, he, I uh, was it um, Typhoon who uh, hit him, or who was behind? It, yeah, was he it in was front? him and Typhoon that connected each other. Yeah, I think he's still frustrated out there. Obviously, he's hit the wall again, and now that's the end of his race. Yeah, it's frustrating to see, but then again, some people just get angry, and and it's just, it's understandable. As uh, Typhoon has gone into the pits now, uh, I think he's feeling front wing damage. He's got a. Uh, He's got a five second time penalty that's going to cost him even more, uh, along with the front wing change, hopefully. Uh, for him, it'll, it'll not cost him too much, but he is looking like he's going to come out behind Matty, Matty, ba Matt, Matty Banter. Is he? No, oh, he's Evans has lost even more him. front wing. He just hit the wall. Evans, yes, Evans, he is, uh, yeah, he, he, he had half a front wing now, but... Tommy is right on the back of him now, and I think he can smell blood. If Evan Z is wounded right now, he's just going around. He's going around this track with half a front wing, which is going to cost him a lot. He's going to be looking up everywhere. He's going to be missing his apexes, and Tommy is just waiting for that opportune moment to hot pounce. As we go through uh, the simple section up to Rest Cass, and he's got he's going to have DRS here, so he could get him if Evan Z has a bad a bad uh, exit. But no, uh, Evans has a good exit, so I think Tommy will have to wait another um, another lap. But to be yeah. fair, he will if they do put on the same lap. He'll probably get the uh, he'll probably get uh, under like yeah, he'll probably, he'll probably go ahead of Evans because of the wind change. Yeah, exactly. As a uh, BRL Gabriel is pit for a new front wing. God, this this is this has the, been the front wing Grand Prix at the moment. This has been absolutely incredible. I mean, There's I been so many pit stops already. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, there's been a lot of um, stops already. Uh, the top from sixth down to um, 
15th of all made pit stops, even uh, even though the super sauce, uh, the ultra sauce normally take you to about lap uh, 16 in this in this race. Uh, Biro Gabriel has come out ahead of Total Pure and Dennis V K K. Uh, th those two seem locked in battle. They've been locked in battle for the last three or four laps since Total um, pitted. But yeah, uh, for Gabriel now, it's just about pushing on really. I think he may have already lost a bit front wing. No, he hasn't. He's. He, I thought he did. It was, looked a bit uneven. But um, let, let's go back to that. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, Evansy is in, and that promotes Tommy to third. Tommy now has the uh, freedom to push now, and hopefully he will be able to um, catch SDB Verstappen. But speaking of that, uh, yeah, Verstappen uh, is, is four seconds now. I think Eric has. You know, he's found his rhythm now, and I think he's he's just you know. Goodness, I think he he might see it out here if he avoids it because he's looking very consistent right now. What do you think, Jack? Yeah, um, Eric. I mean, he's not quick anymore. So I think so, but all his front wing is clearly very quick on circuit. Although Verstappen, I expected to lose a lot more time because of his wing. So props to Verstappen mm. for sustaining sort of with Eric. Yeah. He he. he I think yeah, Verstappen has got a little bit of front wing damage, but I um, don't. It's not too much to uh, affect him as badly. As Clash 2001 GR is getting a front wing change, which is going to uh, put him down to last place, and he's already a lap down from Eric. Which uh, you know, it's not very good after 10 laps, but you know, we can persevere, and he might get points because you never know around this track. Indeed. We've already seen uh, many let's... drivers hit walls, have incidents, anything from mm. you and Eric who's still DNA. Yeah, you never know. That's the beauty of Monaco. You never know who's going to win because someone could easily bottle it and hand someone else to win. I mean, it's <laughs> it's one of those tracks where it may not be exciting for a, a viewer's perspective, but it's the possibility of what might happen. As uh, I'm on board with Mr. Did, is he going to go for a move running outside of Muldy? He thinks better of it. Muldy breaks much later into the new OCK okay, and he defends quite well there. Uh, Mr. Did, obviously, I think he's looking a bit faster than Maldi on. Maldi's on the soft, so he's going for a long run. Uh, Mr. Did is on the super soft, so he's obviously, obviously going to be a bit faster at this point, but um, it's about whether he can get past Maldi or not, which is the question. As we're coming through the DRS last corner, he's had a much better exit than Maldi. Is he going to go for a move here? Because he's in a split stream. Is he going to go for a move? No, he's not. He's going to uh, wait for a better opportunity, which is quite sensible around this track because you don't want to. You could easily lose on the lap, like in one lap, just lose the race. So hopefully, you know, he just perseveres and he'll, he'll get past him in the end. As yeah, he's still on the back of Maldi um, going into this. Uh, end of the first sector into the hairpin. Any other battles that are catching your eye, Jack? Yeah, let's have a look. Dennis is quite close to pure... Toxic, quite... To Everything is jump toxic. Ooh. I think, yes. uh, yeah, Toxic um, hitted a lap, uh, a few laps earlier than Evansy for front wing damage. I think that uh, Evan D, he's onto the soft, so Toxic should be faster though, at this point of the race. And Evan Z is obviously not going to stop again. Toxic may have to stop again, depending on uh, whether you can take those uh, super sauce to the end, which is highly unlikely, as you've got 28 laps still to go. But um, yeah, go going back to the um, the M Maldi fight, he's, he's he's defending well. I mean, obviously it's not for a points aim position. But you know he's definitely. Oh, he's hit, he's hit the wall. He's got uh, half a front wing. That's uh, in that's gonna be very very uh, annoying for him. That's probably gonna make him much slower than did did is. Yeah, did is he, he's looking for a new. He might go down the inside here. Yeah, and he does at the, at the end of the first sector. And they're gonna go well, side by side. Inside, oh, then. and Mr. Did has lost his half of his front wing. He's hit the barrier and lost his part of his front wing. So that's all evens, just per se. But that, I think they might have to pit now, Mr. Did. He's, he's got. I think he's got too much to um, carry on, if you know what I mean. They're both looking definitely. Yeah, they've definitely. They've both got front wing damage. 
Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they've both got red on the left and the right, like respectively. Mm. Yeah. It. So Dennis apart from slowly. the. Hit, pardon. Dennis is going extremely slowly into the pit. Yeah, uh, he's lost his front wing. Um, he's yeah again. I mean, I, I I've lost count of the amount of times I've said front wing in this race so far, but this this is incredible. I mean, I as you said, what to expect? Will take a shot every time you say front wing. Yeah, uh, I, I I'll get I'll get the vodka ready because I'm gonna be in for a long night. Um, but if you look at it, uh, yeah, he's um, come out of the pits and he's in he lap down, which obviously is can be a bit demoralising for a driver, but you know, hopefully he perseveres because he might, in the end, be able to get uh, points if he just, you know, sticks at it. You know, makes sure that he's um, there at about. As um, oh, and class has retired. I think that's another case of the rage quit because he's just he's come out of the pits and he's just given up. Not nice to see, but again, you can understand when you are in 15th and last position. Uh, Eric is coming up to lap Mr. Dids and STV Maldi. Uh, hopefully they'll get out of his way. Be as, uh, good luck through. Good luck through. Maldi will have to do the same. Uh, but yeah, Eric again, he's he's now pulled another second out to uh, SV Verstappen. And I'm thinking, um, could Verstappen go for the undercut on... Um, Eric and uh, you know because obviously we can't see the, the pit window like the provi like provisional pit window for the normal runners and uh, you know could he undercut him by by a few um, laps and see if he could uh, take the super softs to a long way that that's one thing and as Tommy's well, in the pits oh Tommy's making his first stop yeah that's uh Wait, let's see if I on. think he's got the idea now. I think he can. I don't know if he's uh, either um, not being able to take his. Will it come out? I think he might have gone. I think he will. Mm, let's see. Does he. Yeah, yeah he will come out miles. in front of Ever Evans. -y. I think that front wing, front wing um, has has damaged uh, Evans' chances, though. Which is understandable. As a. I think an unsung hero here is. Um, ECR Shadow. He has gone up from 15th to 13th net third position right now obviously Tommy has just stopped but he's in uh, if he pits he's in a net probably 4-4 four, four, fifth which is incredible even though he's got half a front wing I think you know, it, you know even though there's lag issues I think that's a quite good feat don't you think yeah like I said he hasn't yet to stop so he's probably going to lose a fair few positions when he does but I mean, respect to him for not stopping. You know, he he does have wing damage that's going to affect him quite badly. Yeah, but I think he might pit this lap. Yeah, I think he might pit this lap because you know, just just to stop the front wing uh, damage. You know, is he going to go into the pits? Uh, yes, yeah. he has. He's going to the pits. He's minimising the damage as much as he can. The series can come out, so he's going to have about five seconds for the uh, front wing change. So that's probably going to put him P7 or P8, but he'll be on much fresher tyres than the rest of the um, guys in front of him, so like uh, Toxic Fusion and Typhoon Killer who have all um, made their stops early in the Grand Prix. As um, we missed it, but uh, Matty, Ma 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 Matty Banter and Mr. Did both appeared again and they're in a battle now for uh, 13th place, which is uh, nice to see, you know, a little bit of competitiveness even though they are not in for points, you know. I've been there multiple times. <laughs> I'm surprised that Verstappen uh, still hasn't pitted. Yeah, Eric's I think in. he's trying. Oh, Eric is in, the leader is in. Uh, well, let's Verstappen see if he's he gets it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the question. And he has followed him, he's done the, he's done the copycat uh, manoeuvre. But is he coming in for to change his front wing? I don't know if he actually had proper damage. I think it might have no just been. Wing uh, yeah, he just. Verstappen. Yeah, no front wing change for him. Uh, let, I wonder, I'm curious to see the gap to Tommy actually, because it was 12 it's seconds or so, I don't gap. know if Tommy's... Yeah, the gap was yeah. about 10 before the stop, so it is now. It's 8, eight seconds, seconds he's gained. That's a, that's a decent undercut, 
And I think and Tommy, Tommy has. Tommy was working with Paxton STV and stuff in the fall of it. By a few tenths yeah. of that, so. Typhoon Killer is in the pits. Ah, uh, he's got no front wing again. This is the second time. Oh, this, is a, this, this guy can't can't catch a break. He's going onto the softs now, which uh, will will unless unless he has a. Well, she's going to the softs or the super softs. I don't know. Cause it's glitching out again. On my screen, the guy the happy with that though. Now open to eighth place. Yeah, Tarapia's fans. He's he, he's there thereabouts. Which is a uh, good. Obviously, his teammate is not faring as well as Titan Killer. Can we know only five seconds um, behind SP was happened? Yeah. Wow. He's he's what? gaining a lot. I don't know if Stappen's made a error somewhere or he's just been very slowly without that. But Tommy's on a charge right now. He's he's got to, it's 5.5 .5 seconds or so, and you know it's, oh, it's, I think it's interesting. Had to lap on that. And uh, I'm just be, checking. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he had to. Oh, his missile did. So it's the fastest lap. We were one thirteen two, which is you know nice to see. They're you know, pumping those fastest laps. Um, yeah, Tommy is six point three seconds behind. If he keeps on going at his pace, he'll catch him. And even though oh, it's, there's a uh, yellow at sector three, what's happened here? I don't know if, what that someone has span or something like that. Caught up here is not seem to bring. Yep, he has, and Jalzinho. Oh, Jalzinho had a bit of a glitch there. Oh, oh, Total Pure is, um, he's locked up. He's lost a lot of time to Jalzinho. As uh, Typhoon Killer is in the pits once again. For another what front wing ball. change. He's so bottom. I mean, that wings at this rate. I mean, they're, they're poor enough as it is. I mean, come on. <laughs> Not only that, but dry tyres. You know, you've only got so many Yeah. Sets. I mean, he's going to have to reuse... They're probably the, the ones that you reuse from Gwale, but... Yeah, he's, he's going to be down with um, Matt, Matty Banter at this point, and he is. He's oh, going to yeah. come out behind him, is he, potentially? Does Matt Matty oh, this could be Banter... Oh, Verstappen... He's try, is he going to let Verstappen through cleanly? Yes, he is. That was interesting, because if he'd have held up Verstappen, then that would have been... You know, a bit of controversy, potentially uh, handing Tommy even more of a thing. As oh, as Matt Matty Banter goes for a, a lunge down the outside, he's lost a bit of his front wing. I think no, he hasn't. I just oh, that's just me being me. But Typhoon has done essentially well to keep that position coming out of the pits on the presumably cold tyres, obviously. But yeah, but, um, I think this is the point in the race where you see a lot of people. Um, like spreading out and it becoming like le that there's less action if you know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The closest um, that we have on track right now is for P uh, no P12. Yeah. Between Matt, Typhoon, and Did. No. Mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, yeah. Um, P12. Yeah, because you've also got Typhoon Killer. Uh, Matt Baybanter and Mr. Did. All three of them are, uh, you know, they're, they're fighting for the for, for the last pace, the wooden spoon in retrospect. But uh, I Pretty saw that Toxic Fusion has got a penalty again. Oh, he's oh he's got no front wing. Oh dear. Ooh. And yeah, Gabriel's going to overtake him, and so will ECR Shadow. Uh, Toxic. It, it seems like a lot of the you know front runners like Toxic and. Um, Typhoon have just not had, like, you know, they've not, the consistency, or they've just lost it, you know, it's not been a very good race for them, really. I mean, it doesn't help when the fuel's dotted all over the place and got a constant meal to take lap cars. You know, that yeah, run might be dangerous in itself. For Stappen with the penalty. Oh, for Stappen with the penalty, that, uh, that cancel out, cancels out Tommy's penalty from earlier, so now the gap is six seconds, but I think... It's now equalised now. I think Verstappen's probably going to be a bit faster on his tyres because he obviously stopped uh, a lap. So Evan C has got a penalty. Uh, that's obviously going to you know, hit a wall. That might give. Oh, yeah, he's he's um. I think he might have hit the yeah he's hit the wall uh, coming out to back and he's got front wing damage. This might put Gabriel up to P5 if he has to pit. I don't know. I don't. He's not he's not pitting. He's a uh, sticker out. Fair enough to him. I think he might go. And 
I think it, you might think it's bearable, you know, the front wing damage, as there's a yellow in Sector 2. Oh, Jazzino has bottled it. Coming out of um, the Velcher Chicane, he's uh, bottled the um, bottle that and he's lost his front wing, which is not good for him. This uh, will going to be a allow toxic to swing for. Mm, he's, he's taking it very tentatively. Mm. Definitely, uh, yep, he's going to have to come in now and uh, tox he's going to hand Toxic and uh, Fusion a um, nerve pace and Maldi now, who's lost half his front wing again, or is that just the same? I don't know if he's not stopped, but not he's definitely a uh, oh, battle for fifth. Oh, yeah, easy our Shadow is uh, catching up to um, Bill Gabriel. I think Gabriel was uh, behind um, Fusion. But, how, however, now, let's see what Ishii Shadow can do, because uh, Shadow... Oh, and Shadow's uh, got wing, They've got a full wing, but Gabriel hasn't. Oh, Gabriel oh and Gabriel's got bottled it. Oh, that's bad for him. But he's not... Thankfully, he's not lost any more of his wings, so I think he can, can, t can continue. Very lucky, but yeah, that's handy that's Shadow. Yeah. I think he might have touched... Yeah, he's left, left rear on the uh, entry to the corner, which is obviously... Uh, oh yeah, Typhoon Killer, he's had a horrible race and I think you know, he's just wanted to get over it. And I think, yeah, Matt Matty Banter has uh, left the session now. Which, uh, is, we're down to 13 runners now. Uh, that's, you know, I think he's just, again, rage quit. I mean, but, you know... That's more than expected to have at this point, I'll be honest. Mm, definitely. Uh, yeah, um, Biro Jazzino and Mr. Didar, uh, or Mr. is catching Jazzino, Jazzino obviously after... Oh, uh, is that... Oh, on, on, on the screen, Jazzino, um, hit the wall, but I think that might be just the lag, but, um, yeah. Mr. Did could be in contention for, um, points, but I don't know if he will be, because he's on the option soft, so he's going to have to pit again. I think he just went for the fastest lap, really, but... You know, if it, if it feels on the hard tyre, I'd say, because you've got uh, Dennis Vick, who's got half a front, barely any front wing left. And you've got uh, Maldi, who are really, I think Maldi's really slowing up uh, Dennis right here. Which is playing into the hands of uh, Jazzino, who's, who's following Verstappen. So obviously he's a lap behind, but you know, he might be able to, um, you know, capitalise on this. And Eric can up to lap Dennis and Maldi. Mm. Eric has shown, Eric's, well Dennis has obviously moved out of the way, Maldi probably will after the Nido Chicane, but yeah, um, yeah he has, good, and good Dennis, yep, yeah, very sensible driving, that's probably, that's the best thing to do when, when you're that car, just don't get in the way, that's the <laughs> number one rule, but um, yeah, let's uh, let Dennis um, right back onto the back of um, SP Maldi, I think I've um, DRS here. Let's see if we can get past, or we can get anywhere close to him, you know, in a position. But I don't think so, because he's, he's not... Oh! Jazzino's retired! Um, I think he's lost his front wing again and he's retired again. Oh dear. I think, yeah, that, that's, that's a mess for Jazzino, obviously. He lost his front wing, and um, he's, he's lost his front wing, and, uh, well, he's just rage quit again. Unfortunately, not as to see, but sometimes you can't help it when you're angry. And to be fair, it is Monaco. But yeah, I think now a lot apart. I think there's one battle going on now, and I think the rest are just like equal now. If you know what I mean. But there's no real um, action anywhere. Um. The only battle in track row that I can see is between Morby and Dennis. Yeah. Everyone else is pretty spaced out. Yeah, this Gabriel is kind of what Monaco is. Yeah, it's kind of like what Monaco is like, definitely, because Monaco is one of the... Like, more... It, it hard, it's hard to overtake, so you get less, like, daring moves, because people don't want to, obviously, destroy their wings. So I think it's more just about... I think, yeah, because it was in the real life Grand Prix, like, there wasn't that many overtakes, and I think this, I think there's a lot more mistakes, obviously, a lot more people have, um, you know, lost their front wings, had to pit, 
Let, let, I'll go and see how many stocks everyone's made. So you've had uh, Mr. Did and Dennis have made uh, five stocks between them, and then you've got everyone's at least made a stop as Evansy has lost his whole front wing and he's in the pit. That's going oh, uh, to hand. Shadow. Yeah, it's going to put Shadow to and Gabriel as well. Oh, as Gabe, speaking of Gabriel, he's just gone and uh, he gone into the pits, but he lost out of Rastgas. Mm -hmm. This is going to promote total pure and toxic fusion up the um, ranks. Toxic after he's pitted, uh, obviously twice, lost his front wing. But yeah, um, as did has got a few top five to add to his Yes, he has. That's uh, important for him. Obviously, uh, Evan Z is on the super. Evan Z is on the super. Super. He could have gone on the auctions from there. Yeah, the ultras would have taken him 16 laps at least. But like, everybody that's on to go to these supers. As uh, Biro Gabriel, uh, coming out of the pits, has got a three second time power for corner cutting. Uh, he's in a, he, he's going to try and, you know, just. I think for him now it's just consolidating P8 because I don't think he'll catch Evansy, if you know what I mean. No, I think Evansy uh, is too quick for him. Yeah, there's. 16 second gap, not really going to happen in 14 laps. But I'm going, I'm going to go back up to the front because uh, Eric is, he, he, he's led this race from, you know, start to finish and it's been a very well, dominant driver and he's shown that he's, um, why he is the championship leader. But he's letting um, Matt, uh, Matt Mayo down to three, obviously, who is probably the faster car um, just to get out of incident. But, you know, I think it sets a precedent. Pre precedent that is just it, it means business, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's certainly not messing about. Obviously, he's leaving the championship by a fair distance. He's obviously going to extend that after this race. Two championship rivals, Real Pedro and uh, and uh, Eddie Prondi not are sure both. Well, well, yeah, unfortunately, no, Prondi Prondi showed up, but he, he just. Uh, and Jalzinho just, he, he, kept, he bottled it a lot of times, which is unfortunate to see, because, you know, he was looking good up there in P5. I mean, he probably he probably would have actually gone to the top three in quality if he had no bottled rash class. But, yeah, as a ECR Shadow has now got a time penalty, which, uh, if I'm not correct, will... Um, Eric lost a lot he, of time to Verstappen all of a sudden. I, um, he lost a lot of time. He was um, letting through back markers. He let through Matt Maybanta and uh, BRL Gabriel. Because they're also on fast tyres, so... Uh, Evans has got a free same time penalty. So, and no uh, wing. Oh, God. It, this, 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 this. <laughs> I, I really, uh, I'm really happy I didn't take up your... Oh, he's retired! Wow. He's, he's done. He, he, was in, he was in points paying position. He would have been um, behind... He probably would have been in P9 or P10. I, I don't understand. I understand he's uh, angry, but you, you want to at least get as many points as you can. But yeah, it's going to promote Malvi to 8th and Dennis, and it's going to promote Did, Mr. Did, to... He has uh, got no wing either, and there's a tie barrier in the middle of the Norval Chicane. What What's happened? Wait, what? There's a tyre barrier across the track in the middle of Norval. Uh, I, well, my screen dangerous. is fine. Um, it's my screen well, my is fine. Screen I'm on the ECR shadow. Might split across the road. <laughs> get the safe. Oh, this game. This, this game. <laughs> but yeah, Mr. Did is now on P10. I've said about perseverance, and he's persevering. He's probably going to get points out of this race, which is you know good for him. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. Definitely. Yeah, you know. I mean, a point's better than nothing in, in in my book, so, you know, with him. Oh, Eric has got a penalty. He's got a free taking oh, time yeah. penalty. Uh, I want to see how many penalties that he has he now. He has. Hmm, interesting. That is that is one thing we said. Uh, Verstappen is only one more away from a penalty, so um, he needs to be very careful here. He could potentially, if um, Eric, he's catching him. I mean, he's caught him by. How I many? He's caught him by a second in the last two laps. So he's catching him. If Eric makes mistakes like that, 
then, you know, he, he's definitely going to be on the back of him. You know, at the end of the race. Um, yeah, I don't got, think Eric has to let through any more back markers, though. Oh, Tommy's coming up to Maldi and Dennis. Dennis is going to have to get out of the way. Yep, Dennis gets out of yeah, the way, and Maldi right. stays on the apex. I mean, it'd be better for him not to, because now he's going to help not into the help into the um, hairpin. But yeah, Tommy, he's, uh, he, he's had a good drive here. I think, you know, he's got a 41 second gap to ECR Shadow. I think, you know, P3 is very deserved for him, actually. You know, he's had a very consistent drive. I think Molly's let through Tommy at the wrong time there. Oh yeah, because he's let he's he's, he's oh, no, gave him he's, he's, he's and Pure is behind. Uh, Pure is in P9, so he's caught. Just come up the pit. Yeah, Maldi's uh, in a bit of a bad. Oh, Maldi's hit the wall at the back, and I think he's got even more front end damage than he had. He might have to pit at this point because it's get it. I don't know if it, it, he'll be able to pit, but um, yeah, he's definitely struggling on the um, the soft, obviously, of the front wing damage. But um, Dennis has got exactly the same amount of damage. But um, yeah, I'm looking at total for potentially a P7 here. If you can get past Maldi and uh, Dennis. He's definitely got a superior grip, so I won't be surprised if we can get past him. Mm. A little on the side of Dennis. Oh, Piers hit the wall. He hit, he hit the wall there. That was very close to uh, front wing damage. Luckily, he hasn't got any. But. Um, just looking, uh, yeah, Verstappen's still got a gap of 4.6, so unless Eric bottles it, it's looking like he's he's got a very, con well, not convincing, but a good win here. I mean, Verstappen, uh, I don't know where he's in the championship, but I mean, today, what, from what he's shown, he's been, it's been a very, very good drive from him. Verstappen's very low down in the championship. He's got hardly any. Ooh. Uh, on my screen, ECR Shadow is in P10. <laughs> That's interesting, because he's still in P5. Oh, there you go, he's gone back up again. Uh, I think his connection's just screwing him over. But, but, he, but yeah, he's, um, he's, got, he's gone up 10 positions. I think he might be, uh, you know, a well, contender for drive well, That's a drive. Where did he do that? Oh, I, I think he might have caught on the car. It like it's made six to rep to Monaco. Yeah, that was over the agree. Yeah. Did has a did has um set the fast lap again. Congratulations to Did. You know he's 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 shown that he's got the pace. It's unfortunate that he got in those two instances that broke his front wing. Wallace still has traction at the corner, so his tyres must be holding up relatively well. Yeah. Is Dennis going to go for one here? No, he's looking. Oh, and Verstappen's got another penalty. He, he was on that, that one wall. That's good for Tommy. Team. Tommy's only got one. He's six seconds, he's yeah. Um, ten seconds back. Yeah, um, I was about to say. But Matt Bobad is coming, out, coming in for another stop. I think I he think might just stop go. No, 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 he's, uh, he's, he's lost his front wing, but he's doing the oh, top there yeah. as well. But yeah, um, total here, I'm just going to check the penalties for a bit, because if he's, um, how many penalties? He's got one, he's got two penalties, Dennis has got um, three, so he'll be ahead of him, and Maldi's only got, Maldi's not got a penalty, so he's looking in the best position right here, obviously. Oh, as Toll goes for a move up Dennis's inside, and he clips him through um, the casino section, and Dennis, I think, loses even more front wing than he has. He, might, he probably won't be happy with that one. I think that's a bit of a reckless move from Toto there. Mm -hmm. Looks about the same amount of front wing on my screen. Although he is on the steering a lot. Yeah. I mean, I, I think he may be just be still in shock from that, that, that potential move, because that was a very, very, like, you know, that always looks quite solid this race, and it's very like desperate move almost. I think he's very uh, he wants to get past Dennis and Maldi so he can you know he, he he can extend the gap to them so his his penalties will be cancelled out. But obviously, with Monaco being one of the highest prices to tr to um, overtake, it's just it's impossible. You know, unless you get a super good run or you just risk it all. 
Yeah, those are pretty much the only two options. And Mr. Dead is now in the back of yeah. the squad of guns. They've got a four way battle to send. Another wow. fast lap as well. Yep, he's at a 113.2. He's looking very good here for a potential, you know, for a good for a good haul point if he can get past them. If he, I think he, the way he's going right now, he probably will. As Maldi's, he's, 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 he's got a train. He's doing the truly train right now. As Pure goes from the... Oh, he yeah. tries... Oh, and did, um, did has uh, got a bit of front wing damage now. He hit the back of Pure. Pure, um... Broke a little bit because obviously he's going to hit the wall if he didn't, and yeah, just going to be annoyed at that one. But um, yeah, Maldi's tyres must be absolutely screaming right now. He's been on them since for 32 laps now, which is incredible. Dennis, oh, down side. oh, Dennis has gone for a move. This is a very, very. Oh, Dennis has been pushed down to P10. He's got no he's front got wing now. No wing yeah, Mr. Dids. Unfortunately, yeah, um, Mr. Did has always lost the rest of his half, rest of his left end plate, and um, yeah, yeah that one second. Some pure not get past Maldi, but that's been binned off like Dennis was. Maldi's tyres effectively need to get in the bin. Yeah, sorry, I was having technical yeah. difficulties. Um, yeah, uh, Dennis is very much. Um, he, he, he's got no foot ring now, I think. You know, he's, he's now banking that there'll be some contact uh, up ahead because, you know, he, he's going to struggle a lot on those tyres. I think, you know, when, it come, when he push comes to shove, that was a very reckless move on his behalf. I mean, I think Maldi had that closed up, but I mean, there, there, there's reckless, different. But like you said, I don't think he had much choice in order to get past. Yeah. Mm, I mean, that's, that's the only place. much one of the other taken from Oh, and Total's got a great runner here on Maldi. Is he going to go around the outside of Maldi? Yes, he is. He's broken better than Maldi. Oh, he's tried going around, but oh, Maldi has the better... Um... Oh, and Mr. Well, Did has got past. Thomas. Mr. Did is going past. Oh, and they've got into the wall. Total's lost a bit of his front wing, and Mr. Did has had to cut the corner just to make the uh, apex. But, oh, that was interesting. Maldi is very good defending. I mean, he couldn't do much else there um, against... Um, Total. You can and now see Total's the wear on all these tyres now. Look at them front. Oh, I mean, half, half the tyres just ripped. I mean, it's unbelievable. Just he, he's defending for his life here. Like, I mean, he's defending the seventh place like it's thing you ever do. I mean, it's brilliant to, to watch, but I mean, it's almost dangerous. The understeer through casino is awful. Yeah, I think did. I think because Mr. Did now and uh, all four of them. Well, there's his pit now. But all three of them have got front wing damage, but um, Maui is tougher in the most cool seas on those tyres. He's been on those tyres for a long time. It's just, you know, it, oh, top it'll be a very good... Up. No I way. personally think if he can if he can hold this, it'll be a, a, be a, be a drive for a day contender because he's been defending not very well, I'd say. Defending, like, you know, for, for his life, as I said. Defending um, or tactically pushing other cars off circuit. I mean, it, it, yeah, I mean, it's my perspective, but um, I think, obviously, that one against Total, he couldn't really do much, because Total, I mean, he, he just tried to make he tried to make the corner, but, I mean, that's the thing with the new post, okay, it's very much, like, up to debate whether a move was, uh, whether a defending was, you know, just, or it was slightly cheeky, if you know what I mean. Mm. But, anyway, uh, you know, this, we're going to lap play, oh, yeah, and... Smash into the back. Yeah, Total has. Yeah, Total has lost a bit more for his front wing. He must be even more angry now that he's, that's happened. Because that's going to lose him a bit more uh, of his downfall. Oh, massive lock up for Dead though. Nearly does a Hamilton. Oh yeah, and yeah, ever since he's left, on unfortunately he retired earlier on. But Mr. Dead, yeah, that was a that was incredible. That, that was a you know. That was almost hot in half moment for him. Uh, what else is happening apart from this? Nothing else really. So let's, let's, I, I think staying on the ball of this because I think Did's going to get desperate in the last three or four laps. And Maldi now, I think his tyres have gone past like screaming and they're more just like depleted. As Toxic Fusion, 
uh, as um, set the fastest uh, lap. Uh, he stopped oh, again, I Dib's think. not going to be happy about that. Yeah, yeah Dib's not going to be happy about that because he's been pumping in for the laps. But, um, Toxic is coming up behind Gabriel, who has a little bit of front wing damage. Can he get past him? This is another battle. The battles are starting to open up now. As, oh, he almost goes into the back of him. And Matty Rabanta has, he's lost it. Uh, out of the Nouvelle Chicane. I don't know whether he just smashed his, oh, smashed into the barrier. Yep. And, oh, Toxic's gone Dead. past Gabriel. What Dead a move. going down the inside of Moldy. It is, yeah, and he's going around the inside of Moldy, and Moldy gets it, um, he gets it just, um, he gets it freaking just well for the um, hairpin, and now we're coming down to Nouvelle Chicane. Is Dead going to make a yeah, move now? Is he going to be able to make a move? I don't know yet, let's see. But Gabriel, Gabriel he's got a time penalty now to be in a... Oh, is, 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 oh, he's going for a move! Oh, what a dive Maldi. bomb! That, that, that was... That was... That was very, very... Well, Maldi's now got a penalty, oh, he's letting it back through, but that was... That was almost kamikaze from it, that was... I mean, I said that desperation, this is increased desperation, you know, like, he's... I mean, there's, there's making moves, and I mean, there's no other choice if he wants to get past them. I think the Velsha Kane's the one. I think he's going to try and get as better run as he can through the last corner, but I don't I mean, think he can with that front wing damage. Well, to yeah, but I don't think he'll be able to get it. Yeah, it's a very interesting. Um, it's been a very, very chaotic last few laps, uh, especially in the, the midfield. Upper, 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 upper head, um, Eric has he, he's controlled this race definitely, and Verstappen has held his own. I'll give him that. But um, oh, as Eric hits the wall there, luckily no damage for him on that part. But Verstappen has held his own. Um, you know, only eight seconds behind. You know, at one point, oh, and he's now lost his front wing <laughs> at the same point uh, Eric hit. But um, yeah, he's held his own, and at one point was looking like he would catch him. But uh, getting back to the. Maldi, Mr. Did battle. I think Mr. Did is, uh, you know, he's a come. He, he's he's not going. I don't think he'll make the move by end of the end of the race unless he's just like incredibly desperate in the last lap. I think that's what he's going to have to do in all honesty. And obviously they are a lap behind. Maybe so not. This is their last lap as well because they're a lap behind from um, from Eric. Who is now? Is Dead going to make a move here? No, he's not. He's going to wait. Oh, uh, Isha Shadow has bottled it. And Toxic Fusion has now got P4. I don't know what happened there. I think Isha Shadow, he's got no, he's got half front wing, unfortunately for him. On, on, yeah, on my, on my screen. He's lagged like half wing for me. Yeah. Oh wow, his internet, Jesus. But, um, there we go then, Eric Stander on the final straight wins the Monaco Grand Prix. Well done to him, what adds. Third of the season. Yep, SDB Verstappen is going to come through for, um, his, uh, for, for, for a very well deserved P2. And uh, the last position is going to be taken up by TR Tommy. Well done, oh, done the Fried Boys prowls, and you know, well done. A good podium, well driven, I'd say, well driven. Let's go back to the Maldi STB fight. Uh, STB Maldi fight. I don't think you're able to get him here unless he makes a massive dive bomb for Rash Cass. No, he's not. No, it's not happening. However, I don't know if Did's got. Pe I think Did may have a few penalties, so I don't even think. I, I think that Maldi's safe. What a drive from STB Maldi. Congratulations. Yeah, Maldi keeps seven. That was. It, it, it was I mean, he didn't, he didn't, he technically did possibly, he didn't have much of a front wing, but I mean, it was very good. Wait, on my, wait. On my screen, they're still going round. Well. Jack, I think we just mucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we did muck up. Well, uh, <laughs> there we go. Let's move on. Now Eric wins. <laughs> Well, uh, Eric wins and goes round for the uh, for a very well-deserved win. Obviously, we were celebrating a lap too early, but uh, yeah, STB Mal STB Verstappen, sorry, has yeah. come round for two. 
and TR Tommy is going to come home for a well deserved P3. Oh, did. Oh, Mr. Deer has got a penalty. I think what has he done there? He's, he's gone properly through New Velsha Cane. But ECR Shadow has come through from a very, very well driven P4. Oh, go on, Dead. He's done it. He's made the move. He's, oh, he's going to go. He's going to go for it in the last Top corner. Right. Oh! Oh, he's gone for it. Oh, he's forced Baldi. Why is he going to go for it? Oh, Baldi gets the fair run. That is last lap time and finest. Oh, and he gets that, that, that was line. that was a very very good drive by Maldi, and that is it, all, folks. Uh, Eric Stander has won the Monaco Grand Prix, obviously with SV Verstappen in uh, in second and Tommy on third. If you can invite them all to the party, please. Uh, I don't think I don't know if I'll be able to. If you go on recent players, it should be there. Or on the, like, looking yeah. screen. Here we go then. Eric getting his Monaco Grand Prix trophy for first place. Well done to him. Happy with that one. And then who was the last think, one? It was STB. I think he only hit the wall like twice, and it's only like tap as well, so. Proven again that he is Mr. Consistent. Yeah. And we'll run down the final results. Uh, Eric Stander in P1, taking his third win for the season. Uh, SCU Verstappen in second place. And Tommy round up the podium in P3. ECR Shadow coming from P15 to get fourth place. Toxic getting fifth. Hero Gabriel getting sixth. SCU Miley seventh, obviously, did eighth. Uh, total um, ninth. And the last of the points finishes is Dennis in P10. That is there. Uh, STB Verstappen does not have a mic. Oh, unfortunately, he doesn't have a mic. You know, he does uh, have a mic. Does he have a mic? Okay. Um, Our boy TR Tommy has a mic. Uh, yep, TR Tommy has a mic. We're just oh, waiting for uh, Sorry. Eric. <laughs> uh, TR Tommy, yes, has a mic. Uh, Eric Sander and STB Verstappen 33 do not. So we've got Fusion and we've got ECR Shadow in the. Okay, um, that's fine. Okay party for an interview but I'm sure Verstappen and Eric Stander are happy with their results and they're looking forward to Canada I'm sure yeah I'm, I'm sure I'm sure they are so we'll get into the questions now uh, I'm going to start off with Tommy uh, seven, mm -hmm. you, you qualify P7 uh, how do you think your qualifying went and uh, you know were you happy with your position well I thought it was a good lap you know, um, you know, on the pad, it's always hard around Monaco uh, to stay consistent and and have pace as well. So, I thought to qualify seventh, I could have got more out of the car and maybe pushed for sixth. But there was a, there was a quite a large gap between sixth and seventh, so I was, I was, you know, I was okay with seventh. Yeah. Mm, yeah, uh, and obviously, you know, um, getting P three coming through, um, you drove very, you drove a very good race. Uh, I'd like to get your. Um, your interpretations on like how you felt your race went and you know what things went well for you well I was uh, I was de-thinking like mad at the start um, so I think what was it lap um, lap one uh, going down into a uh, low hairpin uh, I desynced and all the cars like head stopped and like so I slowed down and then I cut back and there's two cars just overtaking me so I dropped back from, obviously, because right in front of me, Matty and um, I think it was Yauzinho, I think, maybe, uh, mm. took each other out, like, just ahead of me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I got to fifth, then dropped back to seventh, and from there it was just... I knew, obviously, there was going to be a lot of cars with wing damage, and to be nine seconds ahead of the car behind at the end of lap one was it was just insane because so many cars came into the pits so there's i think like more than half the field came in so mm. uh then yeah, going it on it was just yeah a lot of cars ahead came in for front wing damage um and obviously they then dropped back to where all the others were and obviously i imagine there was probably a few incidents and just i got into third i got ahead of evansy um got a bit of front wing damage but it was green so i was fine i could carry on and then came into the pits Came out in third, stopped pulling away from Evansy, and then yeah, I was just keeping it consistent. Yeah, it was, congratulations on your podium. It's a very, very good drive. Cheers. Um, yeah, you, you definitely. Need oh, also, after can that. I 
And also, um, I just want to say uh, cheers to all the lapped cars. From what I what I saw in that race, you, there was nothing. I never saw anything wrong with a lapped car, especially that fight between was it like Maudi and and Tommy, a couple of that, others. Man. We we did it good, man. <laughs> No, uh, no. From from a, com a commentator's perspective, it was very good to see the lap cards, like you know, not getting involved in any like kind of. Can I just you know... ask? Did was the final like overtake between me and Mister Did final corner final lap on stream? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. Um, Jack, wasn't I mean, it? Thank you, thank you, thank Jack. You. Yes, it was. Right, it was okay. Good. Yeah, because that that was very entertaining. You'll see back on the stream, but um, yeah, we th thank you, to Tommy. Uh, we're gonna go into ECR Shadow now. Uh, uh, your qualifying wasn't the best, uh, as you as you tell, but on uh, your race, well, uh, it was a very very good. Um, you know, going from fifteenth to fourth. Uh, I'd like to know your um, you know, how your race was. So tell me your ups and downs. Well, I tr I avoided. The chaos in turn one, and I was like up to P11, and then after that, when it was not P, like P12 or something, and then like four cars ahead of me pit, I was up to P8. I think a few more cars pit a few laps, a few laps after I was in like P6 or seven or something like that. I don't know, and then yeah, pretty much. I think someone forgot to change the front wing and to pit again. So I was in P5, and from there I just drove and somehow came P4. Mm. Yeah, uh, it was a very, very good drive, I'd say. Uh, Jack, do you want to uh, ask a question? Um, no, not really. I think everything's been covered, pretty much. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree. Uh, I, I'd say potential driver of the day performance from you, Shadow. Uh, congratulations on your P4. Yeah, okay. definitely. Cheers. Uh, okay. As well, we've finally got some points on the board, so um, I don't know. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and the final, um, the the final uh, person we're going to come to on this, well, not podium, but the uh, drivers' interview, is Toxic Exfusion. Uh, you, uh, I, I can't remember where you qualified, but I think it was inside the top ten, wasn't it? Yeah, I qualified third. Yeah, it was, it was a very good qualifying for you. Um, <laughs> and then obviously, like, yeah, um, yeah, it's good kind of race with the race. Yeah, the race, the race is um, complete opposite. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, all the front <coughs> wing changes. Did you find the um, the the track like hard to like uh, do? If you know what I mean, like, obviously there's a lot of um, crashing. I think for, from everyone. I think me and Jack were. Uh, you know, joking about a game about front wing, uh, dr a front wing drinking game. But um, yeah, yeah. how how do you how do you find like the the track? Was it just hard to do, hard to drive? No, I I actually enjoy driving around Monaco more than I thought I did. It's just because in the race I had the I had the setup glitch, so I was driving around oh. with six front wing. So mm -hmm. I'd yeah. understood the law. So that was obviously why I lost mm -hmm. literally my front wing about three times. But, um, yeah, I, I got fifth, but, yeah, that's probably as best as I could have done. Yeah, it was, so, it was a good comeback drive after after the pit, the pit stop she had, and, yeah, mm. uh, it's unfortunate about the, um, it's unfortunate about the, you know, the, the setup glitch and everything, that's one thing that this game just isn't, you know, it's just not very good, but, yeah, mm. I think... Yeah, congratulations on fifth. Um, I think that's all uh, for the podium interviews. So uh, yeah, Jack, okay. do you want, or Matt Mal, uh, do you want to say anything? Now. Yeah, I'll take over now. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, Tios, uh, TR Darku, Kevin, as he's also known as, couldn't be with us as he was uh, competing in the URC. We wish him um, look. He had a decent result in that this evening. And well, uh, thank you to TR Malta Callum for stepping in. Thank you. Uh, no, it's, been a, pleasure, it's, been, a, it's a been a pleasure, mate. A good job, uh, and hopefully we may see you back in a, a commentary box in future races. But tonight was a race full of greasy circuits due to some spitting in the middle stages of the race. We had drivers crashing. We also mm -hmm. had an incredible battle uh, in the closing stages <coughs> with me. But a massive well done to all the drivers. Wait, started raining. Finished. 
the yeah he did um, in the like middle sort of stages. But well done to all the drivers that uh, made up. Uh, well, which um, obviously finished the race. We're lucky to those who were affected by certain glitches in the game, lucky fusion, uh, and um, just stuff that didn't really go their way. Next week, join Jack Hotwood and T R Saku, who's back in the common box. Hopefully next week. Um, for when STB returned to the continent of North America for one of two races in North America, because Mexico's in Central, so uh, join us for the first of two North American races next week with the Canadian Grand Prix on the C. Lawrence Seaway in Montreal. See you next week, and from me, Jack Hopwood, PR Malta, and all of the STB drivers, we'll see you next week. <laughs>